I want to talk about active transport. Active transport is a way that the body can transport molecules uphill. Normally things move downhill in the body. They move according to what we, we say is called a concentration gradient. If I have a cell membrane, and this is the lipid bilayer, the phospholipid bilayer that we see with the cell. If I have a large, it would probably be a large substance, but it would also be a substance, let's say that I already have a lot of potassiums over here already. Let's just put them in a circular shape. We'll do like that. Let's say I already have lots of potassiums over here. Well, to, to move, if I have potassiums here that I want to get them over there, that's moving uphill. Even though it's down on the board, it's uphill. We've got a low concentration to a high concentration that's not natural. So how can the body do that? There may be, uh, there may be a protein. Let's make the protein shape like this. There's a receptor site on the back side of this protein. It can't, the normally this can't fit through here. But what can happen is that ATP can fit right into that slot and unlock the channel so that it will allow, so that it will allow, and then eventually it will actually do a still don't have that right it will change conformation even in this direction so that it will allow this to progressively move through the cell membrane and eventually end up on the same side of the cell membrane that already has a lot of it so this is called active transport and so what we find in the cell membrane remember we have a lipid bilayer here phosphate head lipid tail phosphates are they are water loving and the lipid tails are water hating so they face inward but these proteins are embedded in this phospholipid bilayer as i've just shown you here and this allows for a chemical in this case it might be potassium to move from low to high concentration by the change of conformation of the membrane protein. How does it do it? Because ATP fired it up. ATP added this energy to provide for this conformational change. So here's how I always remember this, and I never miss it on a test. Active transport requires ATP, A and A. It requires cell energy, cell money to make it happen. That's how I never miss this on the test, active transport.